Hi everyone, um, I'm Anita Mojani and this is Denise. Uh, Go ahead. I'm Denise, Denise Lynn. Lynn. <laughs> and we're just having a really great time at the Women's Empowerment Summit here in Arizona. And I discovered this weekend that Denise Lynn had a near-death experience that's so similar to mine. What I love about these events is because we get a chance to connect with like-minded people. And I just love Denise. <laughs> and we've been in touch for actually quite a long time. So yes, we have. <laughs> so um, uh, they said be natural. It's hard sometimes to be, I'm not used to this Facebook live stuff, okay? okay? So, so Denise, I'm gonna let you start off. Denise has never, you've never done a Facebook live, I, I did have you? one, I did one at Meadow's house. Yeah. Yes, so she's a little, I've known Denise for, for quite a few years. I think Wayne Dyer introduced us maybe four or five years ago, yeah. 2012. And I have loved her from the first time I met her. <laughs> but yesterday, I actually heard her speak and share her story of her near-death oh, experience. I thought you knew that because we talked about near-death experiences. Yes. I didn't. Oh, okay. But I knew you had an experience, but I didn't know you oh, actually okay. died. And I had never <laughs> heard you speak before until yesterday. Oh, okay. Now I yes, understand what I'd you're never talking heard you speak. about. We know each other. And so, of course we know each other. I know you as Denise Lynn, and yeah. I know the work you do, and I know you do workshops. But yesterday I heard you tell your story, right. and I thought, oh, Oh my gosh, your story was so moving. <laughs> well, the first time I saw and heard your story was years ago, and it was on a video. And when I heard you talk about your near-death experience, I can remember being stunned because it was so similar and exact in many ways of what I'd experienced in those moments when the doctors thought I'd die. And I knew in that moment that one way or the other, I was going to be connected to you or meet you or spend time with you because it just it felt like a almost like a little interweaving of the soul or something in that yeah. moment so but I didn't realize you didn't you hadn't known specific I guess you knew I'd had a near-death experience but you didn't yes. know what to I didn't know the extent of what had happened to you the way you described oh, okay. it yesterday yeah. of uh, yeah everything that happened <laughs> and of course you know it's it's a long story but about how you you got shot and how you went into hospital and all the things that happened they took out part of your lung I didn't know those details ah. so that really blew me away and I knew you had a spiritual awakening and um, I knew of the work you do of course because we need at every event but it was just really moving but also what I love about Denise what I want to say here is her passion for life because very often when people meet me they kind of think I'm going to be really serious because of everything I've been through and because of the cancer and because of all that. So they get a little bit surprised because I'm so, um, you know, because I'm actually, I have to admit I am a pretty happy person because I like being happy. It's fun being happy. And that's what I loved about Denise because one of the things that happens when you have an NDE, at least that's what happened to us, is that we realized that we chose to come back here or that we are here for a reason, a purpose. And we immerse ourselves in this life. Like I, I want to, I want to um, enjoy this life, not just enjoy it, but really, um, really throw myself into it and take advantage of every drop of life before I leave it again. And that's the impression I got from what you were saying yesterday. <laughs> It's like we were both talking yesterday about when you're on the other side and you're dead. It's so peaceful. It's so beautiful. And just the only thing that exists is love. And this sounds like that's awesome. But what we were saying is what is so cool about being here is that it, okay, I'm going to take a step back. If you went to a movie and everything was peaceful and beautiful and loving, I mean, boring. <laughs> totally boring, you know, it's like you're going to lose money. So what we've got here on the earth, on this planet, is we have ups and downs and drama and really great food and nice wines and friendship and, yeah. and we've got drama, we've got this great, it's like a Hollywood movie and it's all, and the colors and the smells and the textures, it is like so cool. I, like you, I, I want to like suck it out i want yes. everything and i am not ready to go for a long time yeah because yeah we still have <laughs> we have we still have stuff to do here yeah yeah exactly we don't want to be bored <laughs> no i mean when you're there
there. It's not boring because it's, it's just pure peace and pure love. But this is way cool too. Yeah, <laughs> and the thing is what a lot of people don't realize is even though it's amazing there and it's full of love, we actually choose to come here to experience this drama. We really do. And so when people say that, oh, they want to go early, they want to go sooner because it's so beautiful there and life is a struggle, I always tell them, no, find your reason for being here. You actually chose to be here. And you know, they are fighting to get here. They're up in the spirit world like, no, I get to go. No, you don't. You win recently. It's my turn. No. I mean, they are fighting to come down to this place. And I know it's an illusion and we're separate and we go through great grieving and we're in hard times, but it's still way cool. Yeah, <laughs> so, absolutely. It is, so. it is. And you know, it's, uh, and, uh, and even everything here is cool. The chocolate is cool. <laughs> yeah, let's it get is. our priorities right. <laughs> and that's the thing. And uh, the emotions here we have this depth of emotions, and it's like the crescendo and the denouement and all yeah. of the emotions. Emotions are like they're like a great meal, you know. Oh man? yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So, um, shall we take some questions? Oh, questions. Yeah. You're getting showered with love and appreciation. People saying you're doing great. You both look radiant. We love you both. All of that good stuff. And then and Deborah makes a comment. What do you say to people say who say I want to live like this? What would you tell them? I would say just embrace life and and don't fear the challenges. Embrace life. Everything is part of life. Don't judge yourself. Don't judge your emotions. People who actually uh, People who follow, a, who try too hard to be perfect, who are always thinking they need self-improvement, are the hardest on, on themselves. Yeah. Let go of all of that. Just embrace it all. We are going to have challenges, but it's okay. They're going to pass and, and just embrace everything, including the challenges. It's like if you wake up <clears throat> really depressed, instead of doing everything you can to not be depressed, you're going you're gonna to do your mantra, you're going to do your affirmation, you're going to meditate. Instead, just go. I'm doing depression. Yeah. And and it's it, the funny thing is, is as soon as you are doing it, it actually doesn't last that long, you know. Or maybe you wake up really jealous, and I'm doing jealousy today. Instead of trying, what you resist persists. So if you're resisting that emotion, it clings to you. So just cherish the nuance of it. You know, you're an actress or an actor, and you got a great part, and in your part, you get to do jealousy for a day. Just enjoy it. Oh, and yeah. the one secret I think is gratitude. Yeah. Is, is when I look, and I've had some really, really rough times in my life, and sometimes I think, how did I make it? I mean, how did I make it through the incredible trauma and drama that I went through in my early years? And the secret that I've discovered, I spent a long time trying to figure it out, was gratitude is the more grateful I am for everything. My, my eyes, my legs, my, my friends, oh, you know, no. for everything. What you, what you focus on is what you get, so more of. So if you're so grateful for what you have, guess what, you get more. Have oh. anything to add? No, that was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. Uh, to Donna asks, so what about so-called bad people? Are they loved by God no matter what? Oh yes, everybody is loved. I, I don't actually believe there's such thing as bad people, to be honest. I think there are people who are fearful and who are confused, um, who act in certain ways, and, and they're doing the best they know how at that time. I actually don't think there's any such, there's, there is any such thing as bad people. <clears throat> what about you? I, from a spiritual perspective, <coughs> I completely agree. From an earthly perspective, you know that expression, trust in God that tie up your camels? I think there's some people not to spend time with. There's some yeah. people that you really need to like, I think I'm going to cross the street and walk this other direction. I but, agree. And so there are some people that are so uh, out of touch with themselves that it can, f it can be harmful for other people around them. So from a spiritual perspective, they're all good. From an earthly perspective, well, there's some pretty bad people out there, from my perspective. Yeah, uh, no, I 100% <laughs> agree with that, 100% agree. You have to love yourself enough to honor yourself and to trust your own gut to walk away from relationships that are detrimental yeah. to you. But from, uh, and since the question was, uh, does God love everyone? Yeah. Yes, God does. God but, loves yeah, everyone. 100%, I'm yeah, glad not, you mentioned not that. Not me, I probably don't love everybody equally, <laughs> but God does, God loves everybody. <laughs> Some people love more, some people love less. Yeah. 
more. <laughs> Except when I was on the other side, I loved everybody equally. I love that. Thank you for that. Honestly. Yeah. Um, over okay. here, it's it's harder. Yes. <laughs> well, is this it? Do, would you like to share any final thoughts? Any words of wisdom? Um, I would like to say, don't take life so seriously. Laugh. Even God has a sense of humor. Uh, <laughs> look at the world we live in. <laughs> I would like to say, I would like to do more Facebook Lives because this was fun. <laughs> Yay! So were I. So stay tuned for more. We're having great fun. Please go out and have fun. Don't take life seriously. You already are everything you're trying to attain. Enjoy. Bye-bye. <laughs>